okay so now in this video we will work on this floating action button so when the user click on it he will redirect the user to a new screen and on that screen he will fill the text field and when you click on upload then you will store all of the data inside our database so this is our floating action button so now first we need to create two files the first one will be add underscore screen and the next file will be add underscore item underscore forum so on the add screen we will show a app bar and after the app bar in the body we will show a class and inside that class we will have all of our text field and that class we will create it right here on this file which is add item form dot dart as you will guess it by its name so on the add screen dot dart file right here first we will import the material dot dart library and after this we will create our stateless widget and the class name will be add screen then after this we will say final then focus node so the focus node variable name will be title focus node and this will be equals to focus node then the next one will be final focus node underscore description focus node and it will be equals to focus node so right here instead of returning the container we will return the gesture detector and inside this gesture detector we will say on tab and inside this on tab the underscore title focus node will be dot and focus and after this the underscore description focus node will be also dot and focus and after this we will create a child then we will use a scaffold widget and inside this scaffold widget the background color will be the same as we use on the home.dart file which is this one so we will copy it from here and paste it right here after this we will use the app bar so we already did that in the home dot dart file so we'll copy it from there and paste it right here and we need to import the app underscore dot bar dot dart file which is this one so make sure to import it at the top after the app bar we will create the body of this screen so first right here we will import material dot dart library and after this we will create a stateful widget and its name will be add item form that's it and now if you go back right here we will add the body so if we check the home dot dart file right here as you can see we already type the code for the body so we will copy it paste it right here all of the things will be the same but right here uh, we will type the function name which we created right now which is add item form okay this one add item form right here the title focus node will be equals to the underscore title focus node and the description focus node will be equals to underscore description focus node now if we scroll up we will just copy this two from here and on the add item list add underscore item underscore form dot dart file we will paste it but we will remove this line and this as well and also this underscore and then in here what we will do 
we will first remove all of this code then close the curly braces then the round bracket in here we will type required this dot title focus node and then required then this dot description focus node and now if we scroll down as you can see the error is gone right here we need to now remove this as well Okay.